Mr. President. Senator from Wisconsin. Mr. President, I rise today to urge passage of S-579, the Inspector General Empowerment Act of 2015. I want to thank my friend, Senator Grassley, uh, who just spoke for his work on this bill and for his long-standing commitment and dedicated promotion of accountability and transparency uh, for efficient uh, government. It is an unfortunate reality that the executive branch today is more powerful, more expansive, and less transparent than it has ever been. Senator Grassley and I are privileged to be the chairman of committees that have expansive authorities and responsibilities to oversee the executive branch and all of its programs. But we need help in our efforts. So we are fortunate that Congress in 1978 created crucial partners for us, independent watchdogs embedded in each agency, accountable only to Congress and the American people. They are the American people's eyes and ears, and they are our best partner in rooting out waste, fraud, and abuse of taxpayers' hard-earned money. This bill is about increasing agency accountability and transparency. It exempts inspector generals from time-consuming and independence-threatening requirements, such as the computer matching and paperwork reduction statutes. The bill also allows inspectors generals in limited circumstances to compel the testimony of formal agency, former agency employees or federal contractors whose information they need to pursue cases of fraud and abuse. But the bill also ensures that inspector generals remain accountable to the public and to Congress. Earlier this year, I issued a subpoena to the Department of Veterans Affairs Inspector General, in part to produce the over 100 reports the Inspector General had completed but not made public. One report that the VA Inspector General kept from the public was a report on dangerous overprescription of opiates at the VA medical facility in Toma, Wisconsin, practices that resulted in the death of at least one Wisconsin veteran. This is how important transparency is. The daughter of the Wisconsin veteran who died from substandard care at that facility told me that she, had she known about the practices at the facility, in other words, if the report had made, been made public, she never would have taken her father there and he could be alive today. I want that to sink in, Mr. President. The bottom line is transparency and accountability in government can literally be a matter of life and death. The VA Inspector General is not the only offender. In 2013, the Department of Interior Office of Inspector General closed over 400 investigations but released only three of those to the public. This should not happen. The public deserves transparency and accountability. An amendment I offered in committee, and that was accept, ex accepted unanimously, requires inspector generals to publicly post their work on their website within three days of providing the final report to the agency. So this bill will ensure that findings of misconduct, waste, and fraud are exposed to the public and to Congress. The public also deserves an inspector general that is independent. One of the greatest threats to inspector general independence is when the president fails to nominate a permanent inspector general and leaves an IG in place who wants the permanent job. In 2014, when I was ranking member of the Financial and Contracting Oversight Committee, we found that the former acting inspector general for the Department of Homeland Security, Charles Edwards, was compromised because, he, because of his desire to curry favor with the administration to get the permanent inspector general job. We found he changed and delayed findings and reports to protect senior officials. That type of behavior is completely unacceptable. In addition to using our powers as member of Congress to call upon the president to nominate permanent inspector generals, as I have for the Veterans Administration, this bill requires an independent study of the problems with acting IGs and recommend ways to address them. We know that many agencies are not in the business of transparency, and they often try to restrict their inspector general's work. 
As Senator, Senator Grassley already explained so well, we shouldn't have to clarify what was meant when we said IG shall have access to all their agency's documents so they can do their work. Nonetheless, this bill will make it even clear that all really does mean all. This is a bipartisan cause. We want all inspectors generals to be able to do their jobs well. That's why the substitute amendment I filed in September has 11 bipartisan co-sponsors, spanning members of my committee, the, the Committee on Homeland Security and Government Affairs, the Judiciary Committee, the Armed Services Committee, and the Intelligence Committee. I want to thank my ranking member, Senator Tom Carper, for his support and the other co-sponsors for their assistance in getting this bill passed. I urge my colleagues to support S-579 and to support the work our IG partners do every day to try and keep our nation safe, our agencies accountable, and our taxpayer dollars spent efficiently. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield back.